Hey folks, Landstrader here. Welcome back to episode 8 in my regrowth series. This pack's available on the Feed the Beast launcher. So today, I want to start out by showing you uh, what I was up to between episodes. Um, did a bunch of seed breeding and stuff, but also I went in and did some texturing. So I've got new textures for my uh, gray flowers and my light gray flowers and my black flowers. Look at that. And the, the, and the cyan flowers. Those are the ones that were not included uh, as a high high quality texture in Sortex. So I went ahead and made something that I kind of think sort of fits in with the, uh, with the quality and appearance of the ones for Sortex. I hope. I like them, so I guess that's what really matters. Also, fix the tulips a little bit, fix the alliums a bit, so they look a little more consistent with the uh, uh, with agri crop uh, crops. And I also did a little bit of something with melons and pumpkins. Although I think the pumpkin might be just a tiny bit too brown. I'm gonna need a little bit more orange, like the carrots. So I might I might tweak that one again between episodes and. Uh, Still need to come up with some textures for the flowers. Still need to come up with some textures for the witchcraft flowers. So, but other than that, I think I've got all of my textures pretty high quality now. Um, might need to eventually try to, to do something with the uh, well, with the, the the functioning flowers and stuff from Botania as well, but. Um, we'll see about that. Hopefully those will get updated soon in a, in a version of Sortex coming out in, in the near future. Uh, you might notice that like all of my flowers are putting off this sparkle. That is because, if I get my wand out here, my mana pool is full. So all my day blooms are full and my mana spreader is full of mana too. So I'm backed up. So I need to do something with that soon. I need to start using it up. Um... And you can kind of see that I've been working with some of my uh, blocks, some of my bricks, kind of laying out the wall a bit. You can see the pillars and stuff. Kind of, it's coming to it's coming to form. Uh, as I have to do some more with that. I have to wait till I get a good surplus of iron going on. But as you can see, I've got my iron my iron plants right here. Better harvest those since they're all ready to be harvested. It's a good idea. Uh, got those to 10, 10, 10. Um, that's why they're over here in a row. Rather, instead of over here in the, in the, uh, this is what I'm going to be basically, this is my breeding garden right here. And all the rest of the gardens are going to be where I grow my crops and stuff. So I've been trying to get, let's see, I got coal almost up to 10, 10, 10. Tin I got, but I haven't got it all the way up there yet. I think it's only about halfway. Uh, copper is getting close, and I just finished off these ender pearls. They are the ender seeds, so if I identify those real quick. And I think the ender seeds, there we go. Now I can see that they're all 10, 10, 10. I'm going to bring the ender seeds down here. I want to keep all of my metals in this middle one right here, and then other resources will go elsewhere. So down here, kind of miscellaneous resources on the, um, besides the the essence. Uh, also, totally finished off all of the. Yeah, in fact, these are also done. The strawberries was the final crop that I was waiting on to finish off for 10, 10, 10. I just bred bred those out to get the proper amount of seeds. I actually don't think I'm gonna actually end up using all seven of the seeds. I think I'm actually gonna only take three of each because there's there are nine different types of seeds and you need all nine in order to craft the magical food uh in the previous version you used to have to use uh nature essence surrounded by any of the food now it is one of each of all nine types so what i think i'm gonna do is i got this garden whoops this garden right behind here because i got food kind of like right behind here i'm gonna put the magic crop food actually i can just put down a bunch of sticks because 
and an error crops. I mean, um, as I'm walking past this, I might as well talk about it. Carpenter's ladders. Uh, one of the things you can't do is you can't place the ladder on these wooden tanks. You also can't place the ladder on against the fence. But carpenter's ladders can freestand. You can see that it's in the middle of the block, so it's a, just a freestanding ladder that I can go and climb up and I can get on top of my tank. Even though there's not really anything to see up here, but it does allow me to survey the land pretty well from up here. This will be a little bit more irrelevant once I actually get the lighthouse built, because that's going to be extremely tall. Ouch. Didn't mean, to, didn't mean to hurt myself. But it happens. And get that little regeneration effect going. That'll heal me up real fast. All right, so I'm going to need some more of these. And also, I converted every one of these gardens over to tilled garden soil or regular garden soil. Obviously, these have to be on garden soil. All the flowers have to be on garden soil. But I converted all these crops back here into tilled garden soil because I was occasionally, I don't know if it was my me or if something was coming over the wall, but there was something breaking crops. But because, you know, on a regular garden, or, you know, regular farmland, if you jump up and down on it, you break the, uh, you, you know, you, you until it. You don't have to worry about that with tilled garden soil. Uh, but one thing that did get fixed in the 7.2 version is now when you dig up garden soil, it becomes untilled. So there is a way to until it now. That's great. It used to be in the previous version that once it was tilled, you couldn't until it. Even when you, even when you dug it up, it would still be a tilled block of, of garden soil. But now, whenever you dig up tilled garden soil, you get the regular garden soil back. So you have the opportunity to until it if you need to. So what I want to do is, let's see, we'll do berries in the front. Strawberry, strawberry, strawberry. Uh, raspberry. I'm going to have some other berries here. I'm pretty sure blackberry. And one more. I think I'll have one more berry. It's a grape. No, don't I have a uh, blueberry? There we go. We'll do uh, about grapes down the middle. And then we'll go corn. Well, actually, what didn't, didn't I just what did I put there? I wanted to put grapes there. What is there? Cucumbers. No, I don't want cucumbers there. I want grapes there. And then. We'll put cucumbers beside the corn and tomatoes go good good with cucumbers and hot chilies go good with tomatoes. <laughs> There's some logic for you. And um, that middle one's actually going to end up probably not getting used or to get used up by whatever crop I end up putting in here on this side of the garden. Might fill that in with all the coal because I'm going to need a bit of quite a bit of coal. I'm not sure how much I might be as much as I have of essence like over here I have three rows of essence I might need even more rows of coal I'm not sure um, I guess it just depends on how often I want to come out and harvest them um, but there we go uh, so now I have enders ender lilies or uh, and ender crops what are they called ender seeds and I can get end Ender pearls whenever I need to, so I don't know how to worry about the good that or going out and have to kill them or anything. We just do a circle in there, and then we go get some ender pearls, put those away. I got plenty of ender pearls. The extra essence over in here. Ah, okay. While well, and while I'm right here, let's look at what I got for essence. You can see I have got quite a lot of iron essence, and I'm going to need it. Definitely going to need that. So let's get that going. We're going to need. Lots and lots of iron. Because I want to advance. Like quickly want to advance. So I actually want to actually get a second. Get me a second furnace going on real quick. Uh or eight furnaces, why not? <laughs> Don't, I didn't need that many, but we'll go ahead and put them all down there just for just for now and I will start cooking up some more iron in there. Uh, what else do I got over here? I've got some copper. I've got my essence of coal. 
don't really have much tin yet, so I'm not, not going to be able to do much with that. I don't even have enough to do one bit of it. There we go. So we got some copper. Go ahead and put that in there. And I'll make some coal to fuel it. Why not? There we go. So yeah, with these resource seeds, I will now be able to advance fairly quickly. Oh, and while I am uh, advancing and you know do and getting quests completed and stuff, I wanted to go back and look at this right here. So I guess that strawberry is not the strawberries from Magical Crop. I must have got that when I was breaking grass, which is also kind of where I got this mushroom. I don't know if you remember way back. I'm pretty sure it happened on camera. Um. And then I I overlooked it when I was looking for the mushroom before. I got a mushroom from using mutandus on grass. So that's going to allow me to do uh, two things. I'm going to be able to complete a quest by tossing that in there and getting that infestation spore. And then it's also going to allow me to start actually growing some mushrooms. Let's get into the quest thing here. So... What the world came to be. There we go. I can complete that now. It's going to give me a red mushroom spore and eight mycelium. So I don't even really need to. Don't even need to. Uh, let's see where do I want to do that. Um, I'll do it out here, just just because. So I don't even need to use the infestation spore. I've got enough mycelium to go ahead and start improving either my red mushroom spore that I just got and I believe that I should have a yeah there's a brown mushroom spore I really only need one or the other honestly so I might only grow the brown mushroom spore out to 10 10 10 uh, let's get that started though right now a little bitty um, and then uh, this is another one that I actually did improve the the uh, texture quality too but like a lot of the a lot of the agar crops um i didn't do all four stages so like if i break the melons you can see it goes back to a low quality texture um and there's a few that i that i did that with but i didn't i didn't get around to doing all, with all of them and i'd like to if i actually release that or give it to uh to the sortex guys i would like to have all of the uh all of the stages at the higher quality before I do that. So let's put that compost away. I think I'm actually, I said, unless I get more garden space, unless I need more garden space, I should be pretty much done with compost. Um, except for maybe if I, like, when I'm finally done, I might convert this one over into the tilled garden soil to grow some extra crops. Uh, okay, so let's uh, get some quests out of the way. Actually, let's get the uh, nighttime out of the way first. And then we'll get some quests out of the way. I uh, should be able to get a bunch of quests done this episode now that I have access to iron. I got bunches of iron ooh, ooh, and bunches of experience for, for cooking that iron up. Uh, let's back up here for a moment. There's still a couple things to do in this. Let's uh, see if we can't complete those relatively quick. This is a new quest. I don't remember seeing that one before on my quest tab, so we'll get to that in just a second. Now that I have the iron and I can take and get a piece of compost and a stick and come in here, I can make a garden trowel. This, there's three different kinds of garden trowel in this uh, pack and or trowels. Whoop, wrong thing. This uh, You see this trowel right here is the botany one. I don't know how those ones are particular. I don't particularly know how that particular trowel is used. But the one I'm after is this one right here, the garden trowel from Garden Corp. This one will allow me to manipulate the tilled garden soil. What is it shifted? It has to be it, not the tilled garden soil. It has to be the regular garden soil. And to demonstrate this, I need to turn this in. Because that's going to give me some flowers, some more compost. But then I want to come over here because I've been I actually left nothing in the center on purpose on this because now there we go I can open this up and you can see it kind of gives me this strange interface I'm not 100% sure how this works I know that if I put things in this interface somewhere there we go so yeah, there we go we see that 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 opened the, bring that back that that uh put it in the thing 
what I really want to do is like that. Okay, so I can put it in the corners. Put them in the corners. It kind of works too. So uh, maybe it wasn't the best idea to put those in the borders like that with all these other things occupying spaces nearby. But um, yeah, after a crash and a relog, it seems to be okay now. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna mess with them. <laughs> not gonna touch them. And hopefully it'll be okay. So there we go. I got a nice centerpiece of, of those four two tall flowers in the middle of my um, in the middle of my botania flower garden. So uh, hopefully that won't cause me any more <laughs> issues as long as I don't mess with it. Apparently when I tried to close the interface, it decided it didn't like something and crashed me out. So um, yeah, so I'm waiting on mushrooms and I'm gonna put the rest of this away now. I'm going to put the extra mycelium in there and the infestation spore I shouldn't actually need. I'm going to go ahead and put it in there for now. And let's get back to completing quests. Back in there. I think there's only one more left in here. We're potter, pottering about. So it asks me to make a large flower pot. So I think... Large flower pot, this guy right here, requires hardened clay, or I can make a raw flower pot this way. I get three of them that way. That seems like I'll get three of them that way too. Um, and then you get the different colors by making the colored stained clay, which you have to make hardened clay in the first place. So I need seven pieces of hardened clay. Let's get that cooking. And then let's just get 16 of them. Might as well. I actually can get clay pretty easily if I need more. Um, and I need I need some more coal or something. I'm just going to come out here and harvest these guys real quick. Give me a little bit more coal. There we go. That can go in there. Looks like the copper is done. Lots of iron. So while I'm waiting for that, I might as well go ahead and work on something else. So let's look at what the world's made out of. Uh, I've done everything that I could except for I've, I haven't made the dye seed yet. So I do need to do that. I need to make the dye seed. Dye seed, which is going to be a couple of weak essences white, yellow, gray, blue, brown, green, red, and black. So that should be really easy for me to do now that I have all these extra petals. So is it uh, white, yellow, brown, green, red, black? I'm pretty sure I missed something blue. Blue, was there other colors? What was the other colors? White, yellow. Oh, I need a gray. Huh? I think that's it. I just forgot. I just need the gray. Which should be, there we go, a gray. I can use my handy dandy mortar and pestle to grind these guys up. And then we'll head out to, actually, you know what else, whoops, what else I'm going to need, I'm going to need um, some living stone, at least one piece to get this started. And I'm gonna, while I'm walking by here, grab myself two essence, oh, you know what else I forgot from in here, I need an essence seed. There we go. Essence seed. Let's get this stuff on the altar. And by the time we're done with all this, I'm sure that clay will have baked up. Hopefully I didn't mess up on all the colors because there's quite a few of them. All right. And then just, oops. Give it a smack. Hey. 
Let me go ahead. I usually just put that on there. Uh, and it did not take very long with it like this. And that, plus I did need to use up some of my mana so that I could start collecting mana again. It doesn't, didn't probably use up that much, but it did empty out all the flowers so they can begin collecting and building up their mana again. So I'll do that. Go ahead and get that one started. Okay. So that should have completed this quest. Yes. And that probably doesn't matter. I'm just I'm going to claim the essence and put it away. Okay. All right. Well, I don't think I'm going to be needing this garden trowel too much, so I'll put that in my tool tool, tool bag. And we can move right along. So uh, that's about as far as I can go right now. Um, I'll be able to progress again once I have, I think, yeah, because remember that regular infusion stone requires like one of every kind of, of essence. Infusion stone, there it is. Regular infusion stone, yeah, see, uh, one tin, one copper, coal, a dye, an iron, and then a bunch of weak essence. Basically all the ones you got from the previous quest, quests up here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna at least have to wait till the dye grows up and I get an extra cup. Anyway, let's, uh, go check on this. Should be ready? Yep, yeah, there we go. Now we can make our big flower pot. Let's see, there we go. And get three of these. I actually have enough to do do it twice. But I want to kind of figure out what they do first. So let's actually go read that quest, because I've never messed with this stuff before. Pottering about. These large pots are exactly what you're after. You can place all sorts of soil or dirt in them, and then plant flowers or crops on them quite hand happily. Oh, cool. Uh, not everyone wants to recess their farm into the ground, yet if you place soil on the surface, it's simply unattractive. Well, that's true. Okay, so this basically allows you to make a more attractive raised garden. And I think, yeah, there we go. So if you, yeah, if you put them together, they combine. And then you can uh, put, like, dirt in there. There we go. You could grow some flowers on there. Let's see. Um, do I dare use the garden trial again? Let's, let's plant a couple of flowers in there. Why not? Put some roses in there. I think you can grow trees in these too. So a rose there and a rose there. And I need one more and it'll be perfect. <laughs> So yeah, when you get this interface, you get access to these additional slots where it will make the, the garden show. There we go. Nice little pot of roses. I might leave. I might move that someplace else eventually, but yeah, I, I do kind of like that. So that's going to help me decorate later. But for now, I'm just going to put the extra one away and put the other hardened. Oh, well, I got a bunch more now. <laughs> I got three more. So there we go. Put those someplace eventually. And there's also ways to make like uh, window flower pots and some other things too. So we might look into some of that other stuff for decoration once we actually have a nice building to decorate. But that does. Oh, I don't get seven more of those. Wow. So I've got a, a bunch of them now. Bunches and bunches of of large gardens things. <laughs> okay. So uh, let's move on. Move on. Put the uh, garden trowel away for now. And let's see, that pretty much, yeah, yeah, all quests complete. Yay, we have completed the first set of quests. Now, the rest of these are going to be a lot more challenging from this point on, I'm pretty sure. Uh, nothing else that I can do in this one, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, nothing else I can do in there today um, or that I want to do today. But I can get some stuff done here, uh, or at least one thing meddling with mana. I want to do that, so I'm gonna need I'm gonna need the the mana steel anyway, uh, which is what I'm gonna get when I actually I think I need like ten of it. So I go over to my mana pool. 
Oh, yeah, I don't backed up anyway, so it's a good time to use up some mana. I go over to my mana pole and I throw in 10 iron bars. I can get myself back 10 mana steel ingots. And that's going to complete this task. Ooh, I get a bunch more things. Which one do I want? I kind of want the day blooms, but at the same time, I got all these day blooms already. But maybe I should take the nightshade and then fill in the gaps. Might as well. Well, there's all the all. I, I actually a lot of times I will not be paying attention and I'll just let the night go through. And uh, you know, so maybe it'd be a good idea to start generating some uh, power at nighttime too. Wow. That was some explosions really close by. Makes me want to look out here. See if I can... There's some Ender Minis. Ah, look! Treasure. It was good. I knew I knew that with as close as that, that explosion was, there would be something to find out here. Um, there's something I, I can mention. I put this door right here because I'm going to eventually start some fishing. I don't think I'm going to do that this episode, though, because I want to just power on through as many of these quests as I can get done and get much more advanced. So what the world teaches, I don't think anything else I want to do in there right now, no. What the world enables. Now this one's important. Look, I have all these things opened up to me now because I um, actually have some metal that I can start actually making this stuff. And this one right here is super important to me and to, you know, in the spirit of getting further ahead, so I need to make one of these vats, which is just, it's copper in this, uh, in this mod pack. I don't know if it's all copper in all mod packs or not, but there we go. A vat that's going to give me a couple burnt bricks and some buckets of lava. So this vat, where do I want to set this up? Boy, I w wish I had a second floor ready to go for this stuff. Um, but for now, I think I'm just going to come out here and set it up temporarily against this wall. And we're going to go back in here because I think I'm going to have some more open quests. Yes. More quests open to me. So next thing I want to get is a crucible furnace. Yes. Definitely want to get this thing done next because this is highly, again, highly important to the advancement of my technology. So crucible furnace. I need two of them. Actually, does it does the quest give me one, or do I have to? Have, no, it just gives me some parts that I could probably use to make one. Um, so what I'm gonna do right off the bat is I'm gonna go ahead and, and put this uh la this lava, even though it's gonna use it up. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in there because I am gonna need to turn some bricks into these burnt bricks. Uh, in order to do that, I'm gonna need some bricks. Go ahead and just. I think I'm just going to go ahead and make a full stack of bricks because I will definitely use them in the long run. Also, something else while I'm waiting for those bricks to cook, uh, something else that I can do that that's really that I really wanted to do for a while is now I can make pistons now that I have iron. So let me get. I'm not sure I have one piece of cobble in there, but I need a little bit more cobble than that. Um, I need some sticks, get some levers, take those levers, and with the cobblestone, some, some planks, and the iron, there we go, this is the recipe for pistons in this pack, so let you get those before you have access to redstone because it'll be a while till I get access to redstone. So let me just go ahead and pull that back out. That means that also means I can finish setting up my. I wish I kind now. I kind of wish I would have saved that one one of those buckets. I can finish setting up this over here. There we go. Those are going to go there. Uh, it's actually going to be a stone in between there. I'll get to that uh, here maybe in a minute. Because I'm going to need more lava for it anyway. At least one more bucket. So, 
I take these bricks and I put them in the vat. Just right click them in there and it'll go in. And you see that there's like some smoke particles coming off of it. If I hold shift, um, well, I've, got, I've changed my, um, my Walla settings, but I, I have it so that I have to hold shift in order to be able to see all the information. So you can see as it uses up, it uses up about a half of a bucket of lava per brick. I think, actually, I think it's only like a quarter of that. No, it's a half a bucket for bricks. If you use, yeah, I'm pretty sure if you use uh, nether bricks instead, it would only take a uh, a quarter of a bucket of lava to turn that into a, into that one of them burnt bricks. And then you just right click, um, and it'll pull out whatever is the product. If you want to pull pull out the stuff that's not the product, you hold Shift and right click, and that would pull out like the bricks. So there we go, and pull the bricks back out. Probably didn't want to do that because now it has to start the timer over. Hopefully, it didn't use up the material, um, the lava material. So there we go. Let me get some burnt bricks. Next thing I need to do is look up that furnace. There we go. That's the one I'm looking for. The crucible furnace. And oh shit, should have saved two of them buckets of lava. So I'm gonna have to go get some lava. Uh, I'm also gonna have to make all this stuff. This thing's right here. These heating coils are kind of expensive. So that's gonna take some clay blocks, some sand, and some coal. Um Do I have any more clay to make clay box? Not really. So I'm gonna have to do that. Let me go gather up some of this material and I will be back. All right then, I have uh, gathered up enough resources to make these things, the silicon carbide. That is required to make these heating components and I need a total of four of those heating components. So if I've done my math correctly, there we go, four heating components. Now, I still need to get the lava and I can make myself a nice iron bucket. That's going to be make things a lot easier for me to get that lava. The problem is uh, I got to go find lava, and I don't want to have to to cart it back one bucket at a time. So what I can do is I can actually make these tanks, these fluid tanks that uh, I require to make anyway for the for the crucible. If I go ahead and make a couple of those. I can use those to cart my material back. That's going to be some copper. Hopefully I have enough to make. Actually, I need to get my planks first. Let me get do that. Get a bunch of planks. Then copper. And I'm cooking some glass over here just for this purpose. There we go. That's going to give me my two tanks. And I'll need more copper before I can. In fact, I might end up need. Did that give me four tanks? It gave me four tanks. Okay, well that's good. That means I can leave two of these behind to make sure that I have empty tanks for crafting and take two with me and I fill them up. So I can actually fill these up and then break them and bring them back and they will retain their contents. Well, I am going to need, probably going to need more copper, so I'm going to come out here and harvest my copper. Get myself a little bit more copper to work with. Do I have a bit more essence in here? I do. There we go. Get myself a little bit more copper to work with when I return. And bricks. So I'm gonna need more lava. I'm gonna need lava for the uh, the cru the crucibles, and I'm also gonna need lava for making more bricks. So off we go out into the wilderness, the wasteland. How much wilderness out here, really? This is a wasteland. I uh, and, and I get my atlas out. My mapping method. I I did actually end up. Switching it to zoom level three. I got rid of all my other old maps because I, you know, I only got so much space over here. And I figure zoom level three gives me just enough detail that I'll be able to, you know, make out my landmark of my base right there so I can be sure and get back to it somehow. And now I can just go out looking for lava. 
The only thing that I like about living around the base, look at that right there, the blue slime. And that's going to be important somewhat. Oh, don't want to go in the water right now. I don't have my helmet on. Or I don't have my... Don't want to go in the deep water anyway. So I don't have my uh, goggle things on. There we go. Blue slime. I will want that later. So I'm going to run out this way until I find some, some lava on the surface. I don't have any kind of radar to find it. So I just kind of have to look around until I either hear it or see it. And uh, then I'm going to fill up my fluid tanks and I'll be back. Okay, I finally found some lava, and actually, once you actually get close enough on the radar, it's pretty easy to spot. It's that bright red stuff. It's right at the edge of my map here. And if I just jump up right here, here it is. Whoa. <laughs> that was almost bad. Um, so now, let me get the atlas, put it, put it aside for a second. And I gotta be kind of careful here. Alright, so I'm gonna... Put my tank right there temporarily, then I go ahead and start bucketing the lava into there. And as soon as I get it full, it holds 16 buckets, which is kind of nice. I think that's a little bit better than the lowest tier of portable tank from Thermal Expansion. I think that is equal to the Ender IO portable or Ender IO tank. You know, they may have changed those uh, defaults too, so in the latest version of those mods. There we go. I think that's full. So yeah, full chip. 16, yeah, 16,000 millibuckets. When I break it, you can see that they no longer stack. One says it's got lava. 1,600 bucks. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and full, fill up my other tank here, and then I'm going to head back to base, and I will see you there. And I'm back here at the base. We're ready to make the next thing, I think. I'm going to need these construction blocks. So these are iron bars with those burnt bricks that I've been making. And that's what one of the other reasons. Well, I mean, you need those for the construction blocks. You also need them for the, for the recipe itself. So let's get 16 of those. I think that's going to be... Is it like this? Did I get it right? I did. Two of those. So there we go. That's going to go there. I need those there. Uh, the heating coils. And then what goes in the middle? The tanks. Use the empty tanks. Don't want to use the lava one. It probably would use the lava one, but I don't think I would get any of the lava back. So I, hopefully I get my, lava, my bucket back here. I know if you craft it with the clay bucket, you don't get it back. Ah, good. You do get your iron bucket back if you craft it with that. Okay. And there's the other piece. There I go. I got two of those. And now uh, the next bit. I actually want to take this. Where did it go? The other thing of lava. And you know what? I think I might not. I don't really want to put it for now. Temporary anyway. So um, we'll put it just kind of against this wall for now. So what I want to do is I'm actually going to put this fluid tank under it because fluid tank full of lava because it can draw from that fluid tank of lava for its fuel. You see, it's already started to warm up. It's burning fuel. It's burning the lava out of there. If I hold no. Uh, it should should be registering as a pull on lava. So um, what I can do is I can take one of those levers and I'm gonna put it here on the wall beside it, and that'll allow me to turn it off. All I gotta do is flip that lever, and it'll stop burning up fuel. Although it's not registering that it's actually burning fuel. Maybe it comes with an initial tiny bit of fuel. Anyway, you can see that it's heating up. I'm up to 36 degrees. It does take a while for these to heat up unless you give it some upgrades that allow it to heat up faster. Uh, use it does not do big of a concern for me. I just, you know, when I know I'm going to use it, I let it heat up in advance. And then, you know, if I'm going to be using it anytime soon, I just <laughs> let it stay hot. It doesn't use a lot of fuel, and the lava will get it to 1,500 degrees. It's not hot enough to do everything that it needs to do. 
but it'll hold it at 1500 degrees while it consumes a little bit of lava out of that tank. And then if you needed to get a little bit hotter, all you gotta do is throw some like uh, uh, some coal or some coal coke, which we haven't quite got the, the ability to make yet, but we're gonna get there real soon. Probably not this episode though. So, but that is, uh, so I need to make some casts now, which means I need a whole bunch of more burnt brick. Well, I actually started burning more bricks out of here. It looks like I used up the lava that I had. So we'll go ahead and put more lava in there. Definitely gonna use these in the long run, so I don't, don't, you know, I'm not too concerned about making extra because I will definitely use them eventually. So one of the things I need is an ingot caster. There we go, an ingot caster. The uh, uh, ladle is three pieces of copper. Need that, and I need that for the quest. I don't. I tend not to actually use the ladle, but you need it for the quest. There's my other copper, just in case I need it anytime soon. And then the other thing is, is it like this? No, actually, I need one more burnt brick. One more burnt brick, and I can get another quest completed. There we go. The block caster, which will allow me to cast blocks of metal at once. Okay. And uh, these are all Mariculture related items. So go ahead, I'm going to get myself a couple more buckets of lava, claim that. And I get more burnt bricks. You know what, I think I'm going to go ahead and pull out the rest of these bricks. What are, where is it at right now? Okay, good. Good time for it because it has exactly three buckets of lava left in there. If I add the if I add the last two, and I think what I'll do is just take and go. Ah, uh, shoot! It's night time. Um, we'll do it from in here. Then. Throw that down and just uh, get myself. Whoa! Two, three, four, five buckets of water. And this is, should allow me to get some progress on another quest. So if I put the water in there with the lava, you can see that it starts to smoke again, and I get myself some obsidian. So I don't know if that's going to let me complete a quest or not. Oh, I need 10 before I can even get that one done, So, uh, which is how much I need to make a portal to the nether. But something else that I can start on, Yeah, what the world, what the world embraces? No, okay, no, we're not worried about that. I mean, we'll worry, we'll worry about some of that next episode. Um, enables, there we go. What the world enables. Uh, we'll worry about some of this next episode. Pipes, I'm not too concerned about just yet, but this right here is super, super important to me. Seared brick. So how do you get seared brick? Well, you don't make grout, because there's no recipe for grout. And if we look it up, nope, I am grout, but I don't have recipe in this mod pack. So, how you do it? What you do is instead of instead of trying to make grout, what you do is melt down cobblestone in the crucible furnace. I don't think it's quite hot enough yet. It says melting point two hundred and eighteen. We are up to th oh no, there it goes. There's progress. It's working. So this is going to start melting this down. Now what I'm going to do, instead of worrying about pipes or anything, I'm just going to put the ingot caster right beside it. I'm going to tell this to auto-eject fluids. So as soon as it starts getting some seared stone, it's going to start pushing it into here. And you can actually see it in there already starting to form. One last quick thing before I wrap this up. Because I'm pretty sure I'm about at that time. There's one more thing before I wrap this up. I'm actually going to need two chests. Two chests. One, two. Because one of these is going to become a hopper. Yeah. And then the other. Okay. 
Okay, so one of the chests will go in the ground right here. And then the hopper will go on that chest so that as the ingots cast, as soon as they cool, the hopper will pull them out and put them in the chest. So there we go. I've got some automatic generation of of uh, seared, seared stone. So it won't be too long until I have that ready to go. So I'm going to let that cook. And I think, uh, I think this is where I'm going to wrap it up. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed making it. Be sure and leave a like, a comment, a thumbs up, and all that fun stuff. And next time we will do even more advancement. We'll get a little bit for, farther into the tech and stuff. So this is a little advancement. Oh, actually, this was a lot of advancement. And we'll get a little bit more advancement next episode. So until next time, I will catch you later.